or ninja included espionage, assassination and open combat in certain situations. Their covert method of waging war contrasted the ninja to that of the samurai who followed a strict code of honour and combat. In the unrest of the Sogoku period, mercenaries and spies for hire were active in the Iga province. Ninja figured prominently in folklore and legend. Therefore, it is difficult to separate fact from myth. Yes, a letter. May I be excused to go to the bathroom? Must you? It girl problems. Yes, a letter. Among invisibility and control. Terry, you ordered a strip rug in. No, Gov. Go and get rid of her. Okay. Shouldn't be in here. Can I help you? I was I was looking for the school. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. There's no school around here. I'll tell you what. Come come with me. I'll sort you out a taxi. Yeah. Go on. Satellite phone. No. CB? A what? How do you communicate to the outside world? A ghost. Do you have a four wheeler or a motorcycle? No, no vehicles of any kind here. You gotta be kidding me, lady. You don't have any communication or transportation? I have none of those things. What happened to you? Are you okay?
Son of a bitch. I get paid not to hear anything that happens inside the room. Do you know what goes on in there? I don't know. And I don't care. I get paid a lot of money to keep people out. Especially the girls and cops. Gunshots in Sector 14A. Is that so? Moving in to investigate. Everything else is a facade. Everything else is.
Go three to base camp. Come in. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, we had an intruder. I believe it was the same investigator that tracked you through Bolivia. Did he make it inside the perimeter? No, sir. Did he make it inside the snow line? No, sir. I think I killed him. You killed him? Then get out of there. I don't want you or any of your men inside the perimeter. Inside the perimeter. It's a kill zone, do you understand? Yes, sir. I'm not inside the perimeter, I swear. Good. Make sure of it. But, sir, shouldn't I double check to make sure he's dead? I shot him, he fell down. I assure you, if your shot didn't kill him, a far worse death awaits him. Now get out of there. Copy that. Moving out. Oh, one more thing. Bring me a new girl. Yes, sir. Where's your stuff? Laura. Your roommate? She took off on you. Yes. She took everything. Everything? Yes. Even the rent money? Yes. She even stole my share of the rent. But I had some savings. I was hiding it in the crack in the wall. Smart girl. Short about 400 bucks. I know, but I... Now, I told you before, been short too many times now. I always paid on time. Yeah, but your roommate didn't. I warned her that the next time, you're out of here. <laughs> and it's your name on the lease, sister. So, uh, it's your problem. And let me tell you what. Your roommate left you so far behind on the rent, I can legally put you out on your sweet ass. But I have nowhere to go. And you're holding the only money I have in the world. It's my money now. But maybe we could work out some kind of trade. Absolutely. I'm good at cleaning and I can... I was thinking maybe something a little more, uh, intimate. What? No. Well, you need someone to take care of you. That could be me. No, thanks. Don't you find me that repulsive? I never thought so until now. Come on, Sydney. I'll even give you the money back. I assume you could use it. I can take care of myself. I'll need a few days to get you the rest of the money. That's all. Just let me hop into bed with you now and then. And uh, I'll let you live here rent-free. I'm a great lover. Please leave. I'll be back here in a couple hours with an eviction notice. Now, you can either put on something pretty and give me a warm welcome, or be kicked out on the street. It's your choice.
I told you last week that you're fired. I can't have you answering phones for my husband's company while you're trying to seduce him at the same time. I wasn't doing anything like that. I and don't think I haven't noticed the way you stare at him. I wasn't the one staring at him. Are you insinuating that my loyal husband would even look in your direction? That's slander. Do you know I can sue you for slander? Maybe even have you kicked out of this country. Are you even legal here? I am. And I'm still owed two weeks pay. Just pay me for the work I've done and I'll go. You expect to be paid for trying to steal my husband? You've got a lot of nerve. Let me explain. Stay out of this, Donald. Listen, it's not Cindy's fault. It's my fault. I, 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 I got fresh with her. I, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. Please. Don't fire her because of me. You want me to keep her on staff so you can keep getting fresh with her? Do you think I'm gonna tolerate another one of your mistakes, Donald? Do you? Do you really want me to go through all that again? And you! This is my husband! Get the hell out of here before I call my nephew down at the sheriff's office and tell him that you stole our computer. What? I did not steal any computers. I'll do it, and you'll go to jail. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go call right now. Is this Cindy Tremaine? Yes. I represent the Emerson Luxury Estates. You applied for a position with us last month. Are you still available? Yes. Okay. Do you remember the details? Yes. Um, a sort of house sitter, a room, a board, and I think it was a salary. Four thousand a month. Now, do you remember the location is quite remote? That's. Which we don't find right about now. Very well. The only thing is that the job starts immediately. I'm ready, ma'am. Are you sure? Absolutely. Then open the package that was left at your Is there a problem? No, no. But how did you know? Are you available right away or not? Yes, I I have a key here. Good, the car that the key belongs to is parked outside of your apartment. That's not problem, ma'am. Very generous. The location you'll be driving to is remote. The car has gas, and the address is already typed into the navigation system. Please get going, you're needed immediately. Yes, ma'am.
the eviction notice. It's official. I got the legal right to throw you out on your ass. But if you want to play nice with me, I can make it go away.
Excuse me, sir. I think I might be lost. Hello? Where are you trying to get to? 1222 Fruitvale. My navigation system is not working so well up here. Fruitvale's up the road. You have a ways to go. You have enough gas to get up there and back? There ain't no gas stations up here. I'm not sure. I know I don't have enough to go back from here. I have no choice to, but to go forward. You by yourself? My husband, he's, um, he's asleep in the car. Funny kind of husband, letting his wife drive, ask strange men for directions. Doesn't even buy her a ring. Might as well be alone. And this is no line of country for a woman alone. Nor most men, neither. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Let I get back to the car. Good.
Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead, get your staff, hop in with me, and give them the key to the SUV. Don't you have to get anything from the SUV? No, I did not bring anything. Okay, you do realize that you're going to be staying here, right, dear? I do. I didn't bring anything. Oh, okay. Well, um, don't worry. We have everything that you need. Are you cold? No, ma'am. Okay, well, the house is still an hour away. I had you wait down here because this is the closest address that the GPS will pick up. There's no actual road going up to the house. It's practically impossible to find. Why? Oh, the owner had it built that way. He likes his privacy. This is the main entrance. There's also a back entrance if you want to use it. So, there is no phone communication of any kind? I'm afraid not. We're too far out for that. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Let me prepare that for you. Okay. The refrigerator is fully stocked. There are two more refrigerators in the garage. They are full of frozen foods. The pantry is full of dry foods, so you should have everything that you're going to need and more. Thank you. So this is what you're going to need to do when the owner shows up. He's a very elderly man. He lives in Denmark. I don't think he'll be coming anytime soon. But if he does, just make sure the place is clean and ready for him. Yes, ma'am. So I'll stop by once a month with fresh supplies. I know it's hard to live without internet, but since we don't have that here, you're just going to have to find other ways to keep yourself occupied. 
There's a hot tub on the back porch. And, oh, you know what? Come upstairs with me for a second. Now, I noticed you didn't bring any extra clothing with you, but as luck would have it, that won't matter here. We bought a lot of clothes for the last girl that worked here, and she looked like she was just about your size. You are a size four, I assume? Yes. You can have all these clothes. Excuse me? I don't want to throw them away. They're all designer, and you're going to have to have something else to put on anyways. Look at most of them haven't even been worn. Don't be shy, they're yours now. And you can either sleep in this bed or sleep in one of the other six bedrooms in the rest of the house. The house is too far out for radio stations or cable lines, so you can plug your phone in right here. There's no neighbors anywhere, so you can play your music as loud as you want. Speaking of loud noises, you're going to hear loud noises here at night. It's the pipes. The house is so big that the pipes rattle and roar when it gets cold. You don't spook easily, do you? I try not to, ma'am. You will notice the little cameras all over the place. Don't mind these. They are only turned on when the owner is here so that he can be monitored by his nurses. Oh my God, is that the time? I have to go. It's a six hour drive back to civilization and I don't want to drive head right into this. You're gonna make it through everything just fine. Here are the keys. Don't lose them. I won't lose them. Any questions? Yes, if you don't mind. Uh, what happened to the last girl that worked here? She died. No, I'm joking. It was a joke, a bad joke. I have to go. I'll check back in with you in about a month. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, Harold, yeah. Look, you heard me right. I'll need another million. Just take it out of one of my offshore accounts. And this time, make sure the money is clean. Can you do that for me? Uh, believe me, there's no emergency, no need for alarm. I'm just maintaining a venture, a new venture that I have invested in. End of story. Goodbye, Harold.
known killer. No, not yet. I need to know her. I need to know her heart. Listen to me. I will never bring you another girl, ever. I will take you back to prison. Now you obey me. God damn it. You obey me. I got her all cleaned up and pretty for you, sir. Roger that. She's all dolled up, 
I'm ready for love. Uh, she eat anything yet? No, not yet. Since when? Since the last time. You mean since we had dinner together five days ago? Well, you told me to keep her on the heroin, and she... Well, you can't... <laughs> heroin is to keep her calm, to keep her agreeable. You can't keep her alive on heroin. And you know something? If you give her enough heroin where she forgets to eat, it's probably too damn much, don't you think? She's probably starved. She is starving. Get her some food. I tried to give her food. She's too zonked to eat. Well, then force feed her. Damn it, Trudy. You have to think of everything around here. Get her some food, feed her, and then bring her back to me. Okay. If she don't eat, I'm going to hook her up her IV and feed her that one. Well, whatever. Just do it before she dies.
people in the cabin. It's okay. I'm a police officer. Now, how many people are in the cabin? I, I'm alone. Do you have a satellite phone? No. CB? A what? How do you communicate to the outside world? I go. Do you have a four-wheeler or a motorcycle? There are no vehicles of any kind here. You gotta be kidding me, lady. You don't have any communication or transportation? I have none of those things. What happened to you? Are you okay? I just... Don't worry, officer. You're safe here. Where's my gun? I'm hiding it. <sighs> Until I can confirm you're not in danger. Well, you took all my stuff, so I'm assuming that you looked at my ID. I did. Well, didn't you see I'm a police detective? Yes. Which could be fake. Fair enough. Thank you for patching me up. You're welcome. Besides being all wet, I, I feel all right. The reason you're wet is because I rinsed you off on a deck with a water hose. You were too bloody to bring me back. Sorry. No. Thank you. Appreciate it. So you say you live here all by yourself? I already told you yes. And why do you have a ah, cabin out in the middle of nowhere? I like my privacy. But the real question is, what is a police officer doing in the middle of nowhere? There aren't any people around here. What could you possibly be investigating? The bears? I'm investigating a multiple homicide. I'm after a stone cold killer. Well. I can assure you, I'm not this killer. I know that. The suspect is a male, late 50s. That ain't you. Now, I hate to be ungrateful, but I've been walking for like four days and nights with nothing to eat. Can we continue this debriefing of each other over dinner? No. But it is lunchtime. Thought I might die out there in those woods. Are you sure you're not a mirage? No. I can bring this cabin. Got food and supplies. Yeah. Everything except for communication and transportation to the outside world. Correct. So what do you do when you want to get back to civilization? You can't hike. You'd have to be some kind of extreme survivalist type. Well, how did you make it out this far? Well, I didn't. I drove an off-road police vehicle. Then I walked for four days and nights. What is your vehicle now? 
The mana mattress had a bunch of rib spikes. Echo three. Echo seven. No, sir. We have an intruder inside the perimeter. Sector zero, zero one. It's that nosy detective again. Orders. Kill him. There's a young woman there. She is not to be harmed. Copy. Yes, sir. So what exactly are you doing here? Stop asking me so many questions, Mr. Police Officer. I'm not the killer that you're looking for. The only male around here is a very elderly man. How elderly? Elderly? Not in his fifties. Jeez, you're so paranoid. So where is this elderly man now? He's in Denmark. This is just his vacation home, and I'm just the maid. I like your accent. Where are you from? Ukraine? No? Am I wrong? Mm, Kazakhstan? Southern Russia? Actually, you were right the first time. Ukraine. Knew it. You must be well-traveled. Well, not as much as I'd like. And when I do, it's normally when I'm on a case. For example, this suspect I'm after tracked him as far as Lithuania from last year to Bolivia and finally to here, from my own USA. Bolivia? Where is that? Um, South America? Yeah. And was he murdering people down there? No. Of all things, he was paying to have one of the world's most ruthless psychopaths released from a Bolivian prison. And I was too late to stop him. So not only is the main suspect still out there, but he has an even worse psychopath as his partner. Pardon? I don't know if it's his partner, but the main suspect I'm after likes to watch people die. When I first tracked him to Lithuania, I found a stack of snuff films. What films? Movies? Snuff films. They're like porno movies, except at the end, the woman gets murdered. For real. For real. They really killed the girl. Yeah. So since this wacko likes to watch women die in real life, I assumed he paid to have the serial killer released so he could kill while the voyeur watches and enjoys the show. And you think this man is in this area? I know they are. So if you're done assessing me, I'd appreciate it if you give me my gun back. My gun? You hide it in your waistband? Thank you. And my uh, tactical vest. In the dryer. What?
Looks like we're going to be okay. Which is good because I'm going to need all the weapons I can get. About your boss. Yes? Is he the one that set up all these hidden cameras? Yeah, he... How well do you know this employer of yours?
I didn't see him. Please, go! Okay. Don't worry. Go! You're in good hands. 